move on, um, we'll do a percussion over the abdomen. Start on the lower. And then I'm going to be looking um, for the liver scan. So I'm actually going to start with my percussion um, kind of under the second intercostal space. I note that it starts to get dull around right here. And then I'm going to continue to percuss up from the lower portion of the abdomen. I note that we get dull again around here. So we'll measure that. And her liver scan appears to be about seven centimeters. I'm also going to um, palpate now. I, as I go through and palpate, I just mm -hmm. want you to tell me if you have any pain, discomfort, mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, we'll start with a light palpation, and then as I go around the second time, we'll do a more like deep palpation. You might feel a little bit of pressure, but it shouldn't be painful. Okay. okay? right under the umbilicus. Do you feel any pressure or tenderness? Nope. Okay. So I'm going to kind of like scoop mm -hmm. <laughs> under and take a nice deep breath in. Okay. And you can palpate the liver there. And then I'm going to come around to the other side and we will palpate the spleen. So I'm going to also have you take a nice deep breath in. Any pain, tenderness? Mm. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit more of a deep palpation. Like I said, you might feel a little bit of pressure, but you mm -hmm. shouldn't have any pain or discomfort. Okay. Okay. Okay, and yeah, definitely pressure, but no pain. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so for this next portion of the exam, I'm going to have you kind of sit up. And as you sit up, I'm going to just be looking at your abdominal muscle, um, also checking for any masses, hernia, anything like that. So I'm going to have you go ahead and sit up there. Okay, we know a normal tone, normal abdominal muscles, and um, I don't see any hernia, hernias or anything like that. And then I'm going to have you this kind way. of spin a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So I can palpate the kidneys. Okay, so now I'm going to have um, you just kind of sit there, and I'm going to percuss over the costover tubal angle. Okay. So I'm going to go right under where your ribs end. And you're going to feel a little bit of pressure here, okay? Okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Any pain? No. Okay. I'm going to see the other side now. No pain. Okay, good. Okay, now that we have completed the abdominal portion, I will do a peripheral vascular assessment on my patient here. Um, so, Sophie, I'll have you just kind of spin around, please. Um, so again, just noting even tone throughout, even color. Um, I don't notice like any pallor, blueness, any discolorations in skin, vascular discoloration, any um, abnormal, you know, veins popping out, anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to kind of feel your skin. She feels nice and warm, even throughout. Um, I don't note any edema, any swelling, any abnormal findings as far as her skin goes. Um, I'm going to take a look at her hands. She does have her nails painted, so I'm actually going to flip her hands over to do her cap refill assessment. And we are less than three seconds. And less than three seconds on that side as well. Um, do you have any pain, tenderness, um, numbing, numbness or tingling in your hands, toes, any of your extremities? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna just kind of take a feel for your pulse here. So starting with your radial. 
a nice strong pulse. Okay, about a plus two. Move up to brachial. Not too strong as well. Okay, it's also about a plus two. Okay, nice, even, strong pulses throughout both radials and um, brachial arteries. I will kind of just do a quick straight across. On the other side. Awesome. So for this next one, I'm going to have you kind of um, lay back and bend your knees a little bit so I can feel for your popliteal pulse. Okay. So we're just going right under the knee. Okay, nice strong pulse there. And then come in here. And a nice strong even pulse on both popliteal arteries. And then for her feet. Sorry. You're good. Just just rest. Oh, yeah, just rest your feet. That's perfect. Salus pedis and posterior tibial. And again, she has nice, even um, pulsations through both dorsalis pedis and posterior tibials. <laughs> I'm going to have you go ahead and lay back. And then um, for the last portion of this exam here, it's a little pillow. You just rest back. Okay, get in here, it's nice and easy. So you can lay your head back a little bit. I'm just gonna do a little inspection. Just looking for a little jugular vein pulsation. And again on this side. And then I'm also gonna listen to the carotid arteries as well for Bruy. sounds clear. I don't note any brewery and um, I did not feel a thrill when I was assessing earlier. Um, the other portion of the exam was also done with the abdominal portion, listening to the aorta, renal arteries, iliac, femoral artery, um, just to assess for any breweries. Um, Sophie, do you have any questions or concerns or anything with your um, abdomen or your peripheral vasculature? Mm -hmm. No. All right. Thank you. Bye. Distribution and the mom's bums, abrasions, or bruises. I'm just gonna lightly palpate. Is there any pain when I do that? Nope. Can you open your mouth for me and then close? Did that hurt? Nope. Great. Now I'm going to test your sensor or do a couple. Sorry, I have my basket of things that I need. Um, a couple nerve tests. So can you smile with your teeth for me and now frown, wrinkle your forehead, and then puff out your cheeks so on your squeeze. Awesome. Now I am going to, um, can you close your eyes super tight? Don't let me open. Awesome. Now I'm going to feel, um, do sensations of your face. So this is dull and this is sharp. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and then I'm going to place it on somewhere on your face and just tell me like what you feel and where you feel it. Yep. Ready? Mm -hmm. Dull right cheek, sharp forehead, sharp left cheek. Great. Now I'm going to inspect your eyes. So I'm going to start by just looking at your hair distribution of your eyebrows, your eyelashes, your sclera, your iris, and then your conjunctiva. Everything looks good. Now I'm going to ask you to close one eye and I'm going to do your visual acuity. So how many fingers am I holding up? Two, great, switch. How many? Three, great. Now I'm just gonna check your extraocular movements. You could just follow this with your eyes only. Don't move your head. Great. Now I'm going to check your pupillary response. So just look straight ahead at my finger. Great. Now I'm going to check your um, eyes with the um, 
with this. So just look straight ahead at the bright light that I will be. Awesome. Great. Okay, everything looks good there. Now I am going to inspect your nose. I'm just looking at the outside of your nares and the inside, and I'm going to palpate your sinuses. Is there any pain with that? Maybe that was your frontal and your maxillary sinuses. Any pain with that? Nope. Okay. Now I'm just going to inspect the inside of your nose. I have a disposable um, head, so don't worry. Tilt your head back. Distance the pain part. All right, great. Now the other side. All right, great. Take your head out. Now I'm just going to inspect your mouth. Can you open up wide for me? Stick out your tongue and say, ah. Uh -huh. Can you move your tongue side to side? Okay, great. That's that. Now I'm going to look at your ears. I'm just looking on the outside, looking for any redness, swelling, drainage, hefts or bruises. Is that painful when I palpate? No, nope. no. Nope. Okay, great. Now I'm going to um, take a look on the inside of your ears. I have a new disposable. So I'm just going to um, place the side of your head. Okay, great. Now let's move on to the other. All right, everything looks good there. All right, now I'm going to move on to your neck exam. I'm just looking for any enlargements, goiter. I'm going to lightly palpate any pain or tenderness with that. Okay, great. Now, um, oh, sorry, I'm going to go back to your ears. I have a couple more tests I have to do. I'm going to stand behind you and whisper a word in your ear, and I would just like you to repeat it for me. Okay. Summer. Time. Great. Now I'm going to do a couple tests um, again with your ears. So I'm going to bang this on my hand and then place it on your forehead. And I'll ask if you just tell me if you hear it in both ears bilaterally. I hear it in both. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to do it again, but on one ear. And I'll ask you to tell me when the sound stops. Stop. Stop. Great. Okay, sorry about that. Now I'm going to move back to your neck. Just looking for any lumps or bumps. I'm palpating. Any pain with that? Nope. Okay, now I'm going to palpate um, your lymph nodes, starting with your pre auricular, post auricular. Occipital, tonsillar, anterior cervical, posterior cervical, submandibular, submental. And can you lift up your shoulders like this? So supraclavicular, and then don't let me push down. Great. Now, a couple range of motion exercises. Can you look to your left and then to your right? Now up down and can you bring your ears to your shoulder now the other side any stiffness or anything with that nope okay great um let me take a cups of water okay up i'm going to now just inspect your um thyroid i don't see any lumps or bumps um palpate it Okay, I'm going to ask you to take a sip of water, but don't swallow it until I say swallow. I'm going to stand behind you. Swallow. Okay, great. Thank you. Now I'm going to move on to inspecting your posterior um, chest. So I ask you, yeah, just turn it around for me. I'm just inspecting for symmetry. I'm looking at your spine. I'm going to palpate your spine now. Any 
anything with that. Nope. Now I'm going to put this. Any issues or pain with that? Nope. Okay, great. Now I'm going to just assess um, for some costar vertebral angle tenderness. So I'm going to just pat them on your back and let me know if it's tender or painful. Nope. And then again. No. Okay, great. Now I'm going to just, every time you feel my hand on your back, say 99 for me. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, Now I can have you turn back around. Now I'm going to just assess your anterior chest. Again, just looking for any symmetries or abrasions or anything. I'm gonna palpate now. Any pain with that? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna progress the same spots. All right. Next, I am going to do the same thing. Every time you feel my hand, just say the words 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, There we go. Um, now I am going to listen to your lung sounds again. So again, every time you feel my stethoscope, just take a deep breath in. And can I have you take your glasses off for me for just a minute? Thank you. And your sclera and cornea are clear. Can you pull down your lower eyelids for me? Conjunctiva is pink and moist. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and measure your pupils. Your pupils right now are at about an seven. And I'm going to shine my light in each of your pupils individually for dilation. Your pupils dilate symmetrically and they dilate to about a five. And now I'm going to have you look at a spot on the wall. And then I'm going to put my finger in front of you and I'm going to need you to look at my finger, okay? And then back at the wall and my finger. Okay? Perla is intact. Thank you. You can put your glasses back on. I'm going to check your ears now. And is it okay if I move your hair just a little bit? Ears are round and pink bilaterally. There's no drainage or lesions on either ear. Lips are pink and moist. Palette and both upper palate and both cheeks are pink and moist. And if you could lift your tongue, bottom palate is also pink and moist. You have all of your teeth intact with no obvious cavities. And then if you could pull down your bottom lip for me. Gum line is symmetrical and does not cover the teeth abnormally. Okay, thank you. Now I'm just gonna check both of your carotid pulses individually. Carotid pulses, I would grade it a two plus. And then if, is it okay if I pull your shirt down just a tad? I'm going to check your skin turgor underneath your collarbone. This just checks for dehydration. Snapback is immediate. I'm going to go ahead and check your trachea while I'm here. Trachea is in alignment. Okay, so now if you could, I'll take this pillow for me. That way you don't have to keep holding it. If you could just hold out your arms for me. Front of the arms upon inspection are 
clear of any cuts, bruises, or rashes. And then if you could turn them over, back side is also clear of any cuts, bruises, or rashes, and I don't know any vascularity. While you're here, I'm going to go ahead and do both your radial pulses at the same time. Radial pulses are equal, and I would grade them at a 2+. plus. So then you can turn your hands back over. The nails are painted white. And I can see a little bit of the nail bed that's pink. No clubbing or no indications of grooves or indents in the nails. And then if you could squeeze my hand for me. Grip strength is at a 5 plus. And I can't really do the capillary refill right now, but I can do that on your toes. So you can lower your hands, and then if you don't care to raise up your sheet, I'll move down to your feet. Okay. Legs upon inspection are clear of any cuts, bruises, or lesions. No rashes noted on the front. The back of each leg is clear of cuts, bruises, lesions, or rashes as well. Skin is warm and dry to touch on both the front and the back. So now I'm going to check your dorsalis pedis pulses on both feet. Pulses are equal and graded at a 2 plus. And if you could press down on my hands, plantar flexion is intact and graded at a 5 plus. Toes do not indicate any clubbing. There are no grooves or indents in the nails. Capillary refill is less than three seconds on the toes. And now I'm going to test your pretibial edema on both of your legs. No indications of pretibial edema. Okay, you can lower your feet. We can cover your bottom half again. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is check your lung sounds on the front and the back. I'll do six spots on the front and eight spots on the back, and I'll do one underneath your right side. So first, if you don't care to pull your shirt down just a tad, I'm going to watch the rise and fall of your chest. Rise and fall is symmetrical and normal, within normal limits. <clears throat> so first what I'm going to do is listen to the front part of your chest. And is it okay if I pull your shirt down just a little bit? Mm -hmm. And a deep breath. A deep breath. A deep breath. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the back. I'm going to scoot your hair. Is it okay if I pull your shirt down? Yeah. Okay. And then every time you feel my stethoscope move, you can just take a deep breath. Okay, I'm going to raise your shirt up in the back if that's okay, and I'll give you this sheet to keep your front side covered. Okay. I'm going to go just underneath your bra line here. Okay, and now I'm going to come to your right side and do the one underneath your armpit. Okay. 